Booper, I have no idea how I'm gonna record this video, dude. Kill me. You shouldn't say that, you're gonna get sued by Leafy. Are you fucking gay? Hey guys, how's it going? It's Hanos here, and today I'm gonna be putting my two cents in the trending topic about T. Martin and Syndicate CSGO gambling scam. First of all, first of all, is it just me or he's one of those people that you just hate for no reason? Like, no reason at all. You look like a fucking waffle. If you don't know about it, and I really doubt that you don't, considering you're on a channel with 85 subscribers, I'm gonna try to explain the situation as quick as I can. Basically, Team Martin and Syndicate have been doing some shady shit with their CSGO gambling website. The scummy thing they did was they acted like they just found the website and made videos betting on it and winning thousands of dollars, when in reality, these bets could have been easily, easily fixed because get this, Team Martin and Syndicate are literally the fucking owners of the website. Dude, I oh my god. Oh my god. Kill yourself. How fucked up do you need to be to be doing this shit to your own fucking fans? Jesus Christ. Now let's get into the juicy stuff. Okay guys, so what we have here is a sociopath with about 3 million subscribers here and there, you know. Treats his fans like fucking shit and for some reason they still seem to fucking love this guy. Which, uh, it's, it's, it's just, just, I don't, I don't get it, I don't know why. This guy literally tried to fucking scam you. And we found this new site called CSGO Lotto, so I'll link it down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Now Mr. Waffle made an apology video, wait. What? It wasn't? Okay. Okay, so uh, I guess it wasn't an apology video, but a video thanking his fans for supporting him, and he doesn't even address one of the scummy shit that he did. You honestly have changed my life. I love you guys. I appreciate you. So what's the fucked up thing that he did? Well, let me tell you, the dude lied to his fans first, then to scares, then try to cover his ass by fixing the description, but obviously that didn't work, so he had no other option but to apologize and move on. But amazingly, this dude manages to fuck that up too. And later on, he takes down the video because it had a shit ton of dislikes, I guess, which was really, really fucking expected, so... You just, you really have fucked yourself in the ass with a 12 inch fucking dildo. I have no idea how I'm gonna record this video, dude. Alright, Jim, bring the dog. I need to show these people I have a heart. No, you fucking don't. Now, my connection to CSGO Lotto has been a matter of public record from this new site since the company was first organized in December of 2015. However, I do feel like I owe you guys an apology. I am sorry to each and every one of you who felt like that was not made clear enough to you. From and I truly honestly hope that you guys give me the opportunity to earn your trust back. Please also know that I'm committed to making sure that my YouTube channel as well as all my other businesses are in compliance with the law. This is why I T. Martin literally says I'm sorry only once in the video and the rest is him talking about the H limit on the side and that's literally it, that's it. So before you try to pull another DJ Khaled, I appreciate you. Men up to the shit that you've done and address it properly. And it's funny because the one thing he apologizes about was not officially stating that the gambling site was his. Not because he lied to people five times so far, but because Mr. Waffle didn't promote his site enough. Fucking kill yourself. Now let's make one thing clear. The people you thought were idiots and you tried to scam Mr. T. Martin are the reason you live in this big ass mansion of yours. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Like I really, my number one thing is I wanna get at least a jet ski or two. Just a jet ski or two. And I don't know how a YouTuber with 3 million subscribers doesn't know this, but you owe these people your transparency, your loyalty, and respect because without them, you would have never been in the position you are right now. You would have never had this dream job of yours that I can assure you a shit ton of people would love to have. I don't know how you can sleep at night knowing that you put down other people with misinformation and it caused them harm. Like, how could you live with yourself? So that was it guys, in conclusion Tim Martin is a piece of shit and needs to be put behind bars. If you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and next week I'm gonna be getting a better mic so I'm not gonna be recording with this piece of shit. Ciao.